is uh, proud of you for bringing the Stanley Cup to Las Vegas for the first time, but not the last. That's what we can only hope, right? And watching that video of the team celebrating that win, Marcia so actually grabbing that trophy for his MVP title. Uh, that was a really exciting thing. We also saw the hats flying onto yeah. the rink, the flamingos flying on, and we know that hockey is rooted in a lot of tradition. Mm -hmm. Both of those come from that, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think hockey's rooted in a lot of tradition because there's a spirituality to it. There's a, there's a lot of people that are, are very cognizant of routines and in certain things, like everybody has their lucky jersey or their socks that they always wear. And, and the fans have created that for themselves as well with the flamingos on after the after when they win or the hats when they rain down when Mark Stone happens to score a hat trick at the Stanley Cup final like so you, cool. you, you cannot believe it but uh, <laughs> I think because hockey is just such a fluid game it's so unpredictable that you need things to lean on and, and that as a player or as a fan and so you find those little pockets of of relief and stability that you can create for yourself. Well, look at this moment. They're holding oh, the no, Stanley Those Cup. are some pyrotechnics. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Vegas knows how to do it, don't they? This is Mark Stone holding the Stanley Cup. Fireworks going on inside the fortress. The crowd going wild. I mean, it is just so incredible to say the Vegas Golden Knights are Stanley Cup champions, giving that trophy a kiss as he should. And you know, I did say that the cup looked Pretty comfy in Las Vegas, hanging out by the pool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was at a lazy river this morning in an inn or two. I mean, first it was Cabana side. It probably got some bottle service. And we needed to take a break in the lazy river. And so uh, I, I had an opportunity last week to see it in person for my uh, for myself for the first time. And I don't think I fully appreciated it because you're just you're doing an interview. You're trying yeah. to just move on because we're working. Yeah. And, and there's so much history in that cup. And, and it's so unique. It's the best trophy in sports, not just because it's heavy, but because you're etched on it. And those names of every single Golden Knights player and, and people in that organization will be on there for 60 years. All right, we'll and talk more about this really quick. We're running out of time, but we will be right back after the break.